No matter how much chaos goes on around here during the day, everyone pretty much goes to sleep on time. Huh? What are you doing up? It's after 11. Huh? You discovered our secret, did you? <clears throat> You're eating already? It hasn't even been three minutes yet. Sorry, I was so hungry. I just couldn't wait. Why did you bother cooking it at all? Mr. Masaki, since you accepted our bribe of a bowl of ramen, you'll keep quiet about this, right? The rules say we're not supposed to be cooking anything after 10 p.m. You two are impossible. But I guess making a bowl of ramen doesn't really qualify as cooking. It falls more into the snack category. Huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. That's the three-minute bell. Voila, time to dig in. That's a pretty handy robot you created there. Tell me something, what kind of power source does it use? Don't know. Seriously? I drafted the basic plans, but to tell you the truth, I'm not too clear on what makes it go. You just assembled it, pushed a button, and it started moving? Pretty much, yeah. That's actually a little alarming. But you could do so much with those skills. Just think, you could use your talents to help people, instead of causing chaos and trouble everywhere you go. Don't sit there and accuse us like that. Our work does help people, Mr. Know-it-all. We're in the midst of reforming society. I beg your pardon? That's right. We're about to. You're spitting food all over yourself. Sorry about that. It's kind of a crusade, but we're really committed to it. First, we're going to end the student council's tyranny. Tyranny? They think they can do whatever they want because they control the budgets for all the clubs. But that doesn't give them the power to control people's behavior. Take Kinojo, for instance. What's so different about Kinojo? Aren't you all members of the science club? You're mistaken, Mr. Tenchi. Kinojo doesn't belong to any club. What? Are you serious? To tell you the honest truth, we have no idea what that girl's even up to most of the time. She showed up here one day, but she doesn't know much about herself either. Well, that's very unusual. I don't get it. How can that be? She has no memories of her past. It's not even clear if Kinojo's a real name. We give her some time alone, hoping that she'll have a breakthrough. When everyone's in bed, she's usually up on the roof thinking. So, I'm confused. Why is it you three hang out together? It's not like we're besties or anything like that. We've been helping her search for something. She I wonder what it could be she's much. looking for. I'm sorry. Is it possible? Huh? <gasps> is it? It's close. Close? What's close? Don't make a sound. Where is it? Where is it? Underneath, where we get ready. What are we looking at? You help too, uh, Mr. Tenchi. What? <laughs> this is so weird. There's just nothing here. Did Goriki get it wrong? <laughs> There's nothing more we can do tonight. We'll run some tests tomorrow and make sure he's operating properly. Excuse me? See you tomorrow, Mr. Tenchi. Right. This is a very troublesome event. As far as I know, Goriki's treasure sensor has never gone off in the dorm before. Mm-hmm. Huh, it stopped working. What in the world was that all about, I wonder? Flashback! Flash!